Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made the heavens and the earth. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. Our help cometh from the Lord, who has made the heavens and the earth. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we give to you prayers from the depth of our being. We come to worship you. We know where the war is from and what it's about, that it has to do with the worship of you. Who you are is so important that somebody else think of being like you, which is impossible. For there is none like on today. Therefore, every day of our lives we meet here to activate what worship truly is, to truly worship you and tell you that you are our God and that we freely choose you. We freely choose you, Jesus, to be our God. We freely choose you, Holy Spirit, to be our God. We freely choose you, God the Father, the bringer of all idea, to be our God. And this is forever and ever. And there's no question about it. Therefore, with angels and archangels and the living creatures, the cherubims, the seraphims, and all the categories and sizes of angels in planet heaven and in different places of appointments, we give you all worship and praise, O oh Father and Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen, amen, and amen. Let us hear the word appointed for this service. Verse number 10, eternal Father, we, we love your word, and your word is you, and is your voice activated for us. People of God, hear ye the word of God. Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse 10. Kingdom of heaven. For the earth is the kingdom of heaven. And the Lord bless to us the reading from his holy word. And unto his name be the praise and glory, or the glory and the praise, both now and forever. Amen. Blessed are those. Blessed. Are there or those which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven so the kingdom of heaven you see in the beatitude Jesus tells us about the kind of people who live in heaven or the kind of people who will eventually live in heaven. Heaven as a planet and the earth as an extension of heaven. God's, this is not just about God's government. This is about the place of enjoyment and continuous joy. He says, 
the kingdom of heaven. It says the kingdom of God. This is about a planet who are going to live in this planet. Where God dwells, where there is joy forever, where every wishes is granted. There is no want, there is no need. Let me look at it in the Greek. It says, happy are, are the ones um, one having been chased, chased, and here he says, one um, having been persecuted. To be persecuted means that there is a force, or there are either human forces, demonic forces, or fallen angelic presence or powers chasing you. Somebody is after you. The when you hear persecuted means to chase somebody continually. Somebody has been given a job to chase you. To work against you. To not allow you to have peace of mind. Not allow you to rest. Not allow you to worship God. Distract you. Discourage you. I'll give you an example. Nobody troubled you when you were single. You did not yet tie, you did not yet tie the knot of being in a marriage. People left you alone, but immediately you tied the knot in the court of law, and that is sign. Whether in the church or in the court of law through the court's system, however you choose to do it. You discover that those who didn't want you, those who didn't see your beauty, those who will never have considered you a marriage material, will now begin to work against you. It's, 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 it's just really something that I've come to see. They begin to work against you. And sometimes old boyfriends and old girlfriends come back, the ghosts of those people. They return back to try to destroy that marriage. You married because you want to do the right thing. That's the reason why you married. Gives me, looks like, uh, okay, it's fine. You married because you want to do the right thing, raise a family. Have a family that will worship God. Have a good job or a business. Be able to raise the young people out of that marriage. And also deposit love and creativity. Progress being made. And suddenly people don't like you anymore. People begin to work against the marriage from day one. Sometimes the in-laws on both sides. Sometimes friends and associates. You open a business and something begin to work against the business. Something begin to work against your marriage. You have children and someone or something begin to chase your children, to walk against them. And that's not fair. 
and they do not turn out to be what you wanted them to turn out to be. I want you to be aware. Sometimes you are elected into a position of leadership and authority and suddenly you changed. And you yourself cannot tell why to change. To become violent, hostile to people. Arrogant and selfish. Sometimes it is your health that is being attacked. Because you choose to do the right thing. Sometimes it is your money that is being attacked. Why? An evil eye is watching you. An evil eye. There are two kinds of eyes that watches people. An evil eye and a good eye. The good eye is God the Father and His Son and the Holy Ghost watching over you. And the angelic beings from God. And the eyes of righteous men and women made perfect watching over you. And also there are the eyes of Lucifer and all his hosts, including human hosts, trying to watch against you. Hell is watching to undermine the earth. I want you to be aware that Jesus said this. You are blessed. So don't forget that the most important thing is that you are blessed. So no matter how they try to chase you, there is a weapon you have against being persecuted. You have a weapon. And today we are not even talking about the weapons of the word of God, prayers, sacrifice on the altar, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the love of Jesus. We are not even dealing with that. But I'm dealing with what is in the context of the word this morning. The greatest weapon God has given to you, Jesus has given to us. He reveals it in this passage. When human beings and devils attack you, nature go crazy against you, flood, volcanic eruption, earthquakes, plagues of different forms. Normally, when you start to do the right thing, certain powers come to see whether you mean business. And they begin to chase you. For example, you start a business and some powers come, why is it that nobody in your family started a business? Why do you wanna start now? And I'm gonna tell you that there are two reasons why there are wars on the earth. Especially after the creation of a human being by Jesus. Number one is because of worship of God the Father. Number two is because of the blessing of the human race. The blessing spoken into us by God himself. God the Son, the Creator. The Father create through his Son. Everything is done through Jesus by the Father. The weapons that you have against being persecuted, being chased, human hatred is the blessing. <laughs> See, as, I, re as I, I read scripture, scripture tells me about itself. That's why this is called the, the, the beatitude. I'm going to summarize this at the end of it. The greatest weapon against being persecuted, being chased, being harassed, embarrassed, failed, disappointed. Because when the devil cannot get you, he uses people to try to discourage you. 
and sometimes an unwillingness on our part. He come to discourage us. If you do this, what about if it fell? And so you don't want to do it. So let's summarize it by me telling you this this morning. This is the word of God. There is a weapon against the evil eye. The weapon against the evil eye. The evil eye is the forces of hatred. The forces of anger. The forces of jealousy and envy. That's the evil eye. The greatest weapon against these things is the blessing. You know and you participate in the blessing. The riches, the prosperity of God in your life. That's the weapon. When the devil knows you are happy, and you're enjoying life, he backs off. Because our happiness and our enjoyment, he cannot stand it. When bad things happen, or you receive bad news and you start to dance and rejoice, and said, I have the God of impossibility and I will do impossible things. The enemy is not happy. Your joy, your joy, is your weapon. Your happiness is your weapon. The greatest weapon against wicked human forces and devilish forces is you being blessed by God and is you creating your own happiness and not allow anything to make you sad and miserable. In the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. Eternal Father, we defeat the evil eye of darkness, of humans. We will not allow them to discourage us or to stop us from doing what is right. To support our family, our friends, and those that you've given us charge. Thank you for blessing us this wonderful morning with your word. Lord, we receive this word. And because we have your word, we can receive any good thing that we want. This morning, out of this altar, I release the creation of new body parts from the body parts of heaven and instant miracles that is of Jesus and of the Holy Spirit I release it into the world to heal people from every continent of the world let healing go forth I release the blessing which is our protection and our power. Haha. <laughs> the blessing is your protection and your power. Hallelujah. Don't forget to write that down for me. The blessing is your protection and your power against the evil eye. We pray today and out of this altar of Jesus. That out of here goes financial reconstruction and cancellation of debt. Out of this goes prosperity in different formats. Miracle of prosperity happens. Out of here goes healing. Out of here, Lord, connect people to yourself and bring new people to the kingdom of heaven and to the kingdom of God. Lord, strengthen your people. We take dominion, the blessing dominion today. 
We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord, who taught us when we pray to say, please join me to say it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive and us our forgive trespasses, us our as we forgive those who trespass and against forgive. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, and all his ways, and destroy his intellect. For thine is truly the kingdom, the power, and power. the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. And amen. Amen. And the amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. The service for this morning has ended. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Remember that tomorrow, Wednesday, is fasting and prayer day. God Almighty bless you. And remember to send in your wish list for 2017. Type it or write it with your handwriting. Put a seed in it. Whatever you want God to do for you for this year, put a seed, a good seed in it, and send it to P.O. Box 2491, Wichita, Kansas State, 67201 USA. Call us. Call us if you want to call us concerning this. 316 665-4400. If you want to buy our product, please call 316-243-2967. On behalf of our team, we want to say to you, bye-bye. And remember, the blessing of the Lord will make you rich. And that 2017 is the year of uncommon financial deliverance. Bye-bye. This is Bishop Edekai Merrill.